Hello, champs! Today is going to be a different feedback stream. Today we are going to make feedback especially for our adorable, for our amazing, incredible mods. Huge! Send me the artwork that you want me to give a feedback and tell me what's your biggest fear with art? What are you looking to improve in your art? What's your objective? And Future says you have a trouble with shading, with background and with color theory. Okay. So, so, so. This is to be an anime style of an amazing night scene, a crazy city happening and characters just receiving light from the moon and everything. So, could I already start here? Even though that I have a lot of knowledge on ambient light, on background, on all of those things, would I already start doing anything? No, I may know stuff, but I may not know what Google knows. Trust Google. <laughs> what I'm going to do right now, first things first, is search for anime wolf character, because I want a reference because I know how to do the realism, but am I going to go all out with realism? I don't think so. We just gotta do the nose bigger, nose bigger, face fluffier. Okay, so what we are going to get here on anime style? Why am I picking a wolf, even if it's not as vicious? Because I'm going to analyze, hey, are they picking this feature on the face? Like, are they adding a lot of details or is me that is adding a lot of details? Am I getting the right amount of lines? We should really focus on the movement that is happening. We can see here a strong triangular movement, of course, because of the angle, but not only the angle, all of the fur, the ears, everything here have a strong triangle format. So we are going to apply that, especially for this little one that has a big nose. Okay, this one, look at those eyes. We want to see those eyes. We want to see how it happens. Especially the light, what is happening here in the light, we are going to apply it here. If you have a question, you made the nose very small. I'm going to make it bigger because of the species, okay? And the face more roundish. These are things that we analyze while we are starting out on picking references. And now I'm going for basic city light neon um, design. Okay, now for shading. Let's go for shading. Anime purple night. You can see it right now, I'm not only looking at my reference, I'm asking myself how can I add what I'm seeing here and turn that into the image that we have. I'm taking a look and thinking, how can this make the art better? How can this help me? First thing, let's separate the character from the background. When you're drawing anime, sometimes it's hard to understand where light's touching, where light's not touching, because different from realism, you can go a little bit more off law, you know, you can go a little bit more crazy. So it's a little bit easier to get lost, since you can just make a dark place completely bright, or make a bright place completely dark, and it still makes sense. Okay, we select the character. Before I go here and start changing facial features or anything like that, we are first going to get ambient light done. The easy, simple way. Curves. 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 Come here, curves. Yes. Curves, curves. Here. Red, come here, red. Anime use a lot of curves, by the way. Fuge, if you're looking to improve your anime style on coloring, Anime tends to use a lot, like a lot of curves. Okay, you're here more bluish. It's interesting, but since the sky is purple, let's go with purple, not pink. Purple. Here, you click here on your layers and you open, click on curves. You can change all of your colors to warm, to cold, to bright, to dark here by using graphs, by making Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint or Medibang, all of them have it, paint for you. Yes, you. When you're feeling like, mm, I know 
I can make these colors better, but I don't know how. But the program should do that to you. How? You're gonna find it when you open RGB. When you click on this, it's going to be broken up on three different options. Red, green and blue. Each one corresponds to a certain level of colors. Two colors. When we say when we talk about the red option, we are not only talking about red. We are talking about red on one side and cyan on the other side. When we talk about green, we are not only talking about green. We are talking about green and purple. And the same with blue. We are not only talking about blue, but blue and yellow. So what do you get in this? Mainly red and blue can change the overall color that you have how warm how cold is the color in your painting and green i use mainly to make things darker or brighter because this is the only one comparing to this two that can do this change let me show you red i just did uh, red i just did these changes here where i was changing the curves by adding dots you create dots in the line and then you can drag it up or down and when you drag it up or down it's going to change the colors that correspond to that value here the closer to this area the brighter the color is and here the closer it is the darker the color is okay darker this is dark side this is bright side and here in the middle you are changing how blue how cyan or how red it should be how red or how cyan it should be on the bright side, on the middle side, and on the dark side. And you may ask yourself, what is this huge graph appearing here back? It's showing all of the amount of things according to the level that appears. As an example, that is this strong peak here. This is strong, strong peak. If you ask me what is this peak, it's the hair. Do you see it's really close to the dark side? It's the hair and this area here of the cloth. And this other peak here, it's pretty much the brightest parts that you have in your artwork. Yeah. When you change it, you can see it changing. <laughs> when you change it, you can see it changing. <laughs> Best deep. You can see here. It's pretty much hair. It's hair here. Yes, it's hair. Now I'm going to change the green, as I said. To show how you can make things darker or brighter. I just click it in the line and it created a dot. See? I click it, it created a dot. And then you can just drag it down for darker or drag it up for brighter. Cool, right? And this is going to save your time painting so much. I have been not talking, I have been watching some anime artists that they paint really fast. And I was questioning myself how they do to paint it so fast. And I found out that they don't really paint it at all. They make everything in grayscale and then they just start here manipulating curves and then they get all the colors that they want. It's much, much easier and much simple doing this way. I have done this on this painting here. This one, I use it a lot of curves, like a lot, lot, lot. Do you think I have painted by myself these warm tones here and then some bluish tones here and then yellow tones here and then some green tones all around? I, me doing this, artists doing this, all of them prefer to make it easier and simple. Use curves. And then we go into blue. We press Ctrl E to merge that. I already have a great color combination here. And wait, we can just duplicate this by pressing Ctrl J. No, not you, you. And apply it also in the background. Now we have it not only in the character, but also in the background. See? Yeah. We want a stronger color. But different from the other one, from the character, we don't want the darker tones to be so dark. When we are thinking about a composition, we want the background to be a little bit brighter, okay? So get anything that you made darker and bring it up. Oh my freaking life. Uh, not so much. This is our base comparing to how it was. You can already see a big difference. Colors are much stronger. But I think we can change the lights from this building. I think we should really change the lights on this building. We're going to be cyan. Huge on this background, what we can change the most is doing the buildings window by window. And you may think, oh, but that's too much work. I, I got your back. We can do this in a simple way and I'm going to show you. Yeah, 
separate the, 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 the building and how can you do the windows extra extra easy create a new layer here the moon is bright we can use that and go and do a rectangle fill it and now you, you duplicate that rectangle create another one by the side merge duplicate this is one floor Duplicate. Duplicate one last time. And now you start manipulating that thing that you created. And you are lower here, you are higher here. Not all this size, bro. Chill. Oh, the base is bigger. This side here should also be bigger. Just because you don't see doesn't mean it's not there. Inside of the building, remove those whitish parts, reddish parts that we have here. You lock, you lock those that beautiful layer. Pick up the highlight color that you want, and I can just start adding. No, not this way. And I can just start adding places brighter. You can add first of all reflections. Okay, reflections. Oh, I love this. I really love this. I really love this. You can add reflections in the building. Okay, I really enjoy this. Or you can make it shiny inside light. I'm going to add for the second type first. Or blue lights. Control U. It opened my hue saturation. Can you guys see it? My hue and saturation. And then we can just go. And oh damn, this looks so good. Make yellow light. We can go with pink, just showing you how to change the color. And by the way, duplicate that thing that you did. Flip horizontally. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next? Yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing. New focus, no guessing, just bold enough. Okay, good. good. And in this side here, lock it again. And change the placement of these lights that you did. Just so people don't notice that you literally copied and pasted. <laughs> For this side here, you do everything a little bit less strong. Because you want to show that the moon side is stronger and everything with moon is stronger. Lock this layer. Do the reflection that I said to do in the building. Do that. Do that reflection. We are not doing the windows. We are doing this reflection light, whatever the thing you want to call. On the building layer, not on the window layer. You can do it using color dodge. Make it strong. Yes, 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 yes. ambitions in the right You can add some light on these windows. No, I'm painting inside of those layers. We do you like? Make a dream job. No nine five, no mean boss, just my life and free thoughts. You could try to play, but you never gonna be me. Let me talk to you, these clouds, they are receiving light, they are... Create a new layer, new layer, 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 use lasso too. Okay, now we have a separated layer, separate selection, Ctrl H just to remove, we see it, and now we can just paint it, I'm literally using the white here, literally using that. Now I pick this color that we created, full opacity now. Remember to make on the corners darker. Here in this layer, pick this blue sky and make it darker. Do you see this water right here? We gotta change it. By the way, we gotta have such an amazing reflection happening here in the water. Um, color dodge. Come here, color dodge. Exactly with this line here, okay? This line right here, this, right? Yeah, exactly, this, follow this, okay? Let me get here a reference for further improvement. I found two main examples. This one, 
that you make these lines and another one that you pretty much just go and do the moon in the water you can choose one of them i prefer doing lines like this be sure to make everything soft here and i think the water should not be blue the water is purple now i'll make this line so strong on the corners the corners don't deserve as much attention and now I really want to show something called it. It's gray. New layer, change mode into scray. Scray. Now we are in the mode screen. What am I going to do? Pick this cloud. Pick, pick the cloud. Look at this. Look at, look at this. What are you gonna apply if somebody even better? Strong purplish tones. Strong. We want strong. No, 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 this is too weak. We want it strong. Do you see this? This black here? Psh, apply it. Make moon darker. But camps, how dare you make moon darker? We make moon darker. I have a moon here. I always use this image for moon. For moons. And, da -da -da -da, and I just try all modes until I find one that I like or enjoy. You. You. Hard light. I think hard light is the best. That's a really vivid color. Here. Isn't it a little bit too realistic? On background, they make it really realistic. I was watching today anime and i was like damn that background looks so good so on moon what you can do if you want this even more simple this is an anime technique by the way you think oh i want this moon texture but i don't think i want the moon like this you go here in filter filter gallery ignore the squares oh okay it's because what's on patch okay you add poster edges no 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 cut out yes cut out but here you can just go and make moon with loads of details or zero details Even here, an example on Bleach, that's a really old anime. They tend to make moon with the tails. They literally just pick the image and let it roll. I'm reinforcing here light. How they do those things? Oh, it's like little... Wee, look at how bright it seems and it sparkles sparkles to be somebody to be yeah i just want to be great remember where the light's coming everything's going to be hit by that so any any object that you add to the scene ask yourself is the light going to hit this? In this case, the clouds. Yeah, this. You do some leftovers of clouds, like you're eating the cloud and then you just left a part of it. Oh, of course, enemy has this so much. Those random lines of movement happening in the sky doesn't make any sense, but they do it. So we doing it, okay? This is a statement to appreciate all that is vacant. It's just for the taking. If you make up your mind, you can take it. There is another moon here. Okay, all of this air is going to get highlighted. Oh, the stars! I almost forgot the stars. New layer. Is this you? Mm, yes, it's you. Bright purple, color dodge. Make it smaller, make it smaller. Yay! Here and here and here. Okay, I'm just gonna live this way. No, first we lower the opacity. I mean, feel and opacity. And I'll start erasing it. Oh, by the way, this big building here that we created, everything 
on the background of it is going to have like a fog because we need to create contrast. Building, you're gonna be brighter here, okay? Why there, Gabs? Because this corner here cannot be so dark. Why not, Gabs? Because we want to focus a little bit more on the attention up here. Let me get your nose and do plastic surgery to make it bigger. And what I saw from the cheeks, they are very soft and big, like teddy bears. Take out all kind of transfer in my brush. About the eye format, what I saw, we can go really triangular. If it's specific with the art style, you can do the nose small. But for the species that you have chosen, the nose must be big. I'm going to make the character darker. Control M. Opening curves again. Because it's against light. I cannot keep it bright. I got highlights brighter and darker parts a little bit darker and of course we want the character to have contrast with the background so the same fog that I added to the building why fog separate character from the background but you don't need to do fog what you can do is pretty much just make the line art around the character a little bit more intense Oh my freaking life, not this. This is too... Oh, okay, this is the wrong layer. <laughs> Where am I? Where this is two pixels? I have never seen this. Here. Yeah, here. This is a simple way to separate this. But you would be doing the line art pretty much. You can do a black line art, you can do any color that you want that goes well. Neutral like black or purple-ish, blue-ish color. I made some reflection on the hair. If you're doing this simple anime style, you know, don't need to do it. If you're doing a more cray cray anime style, you could go and do the zigzag thing that they do on hairs. Like they do, yeah, they do this letter C on the hair. They love doing that. Have your fucking cloud. It be raining now. I keep making sound. Go another round. Bitch, I'm legend bound. Can't stop me now. What is the main thing here? The eye of the character or the moon? Only one can be this strong. You gotta choose only one. I'm going to make the eyes darker. I know this may be on purpose to make it brighter, but I think only moon or only eyes can be as bright. I'm going to, with moon being the brightest part. Now filter, camera raw. These you can get final touches that you may think, oh, my piece not good, looking good enough. Here we can make everything even more bluish. Everything more reddish, everything more purple. Oh! Oh! Everything more purplish or more green. More exposure, less exposure. Contrast, low contrast. They say anything negative, because I just want to hear it out your mouth, yeah. Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use to go ahead and run my fucking mouth, yeah. I take shots, I take loss, I make shots, I miss lots. I tell you get big boss, you get yachts, you swing lots and pop off a big shot. I ain't done chasing, got big dreams, bigger things impatient. Who's at the top think they need replacement? Who's at the top think I'm gonna erase that face it? I don't give up quick, I don't give up shit, I won't give up this. Cause I know that I want it, know that I'm on it, I'll make it, I promise. You don't wanna fuck with me. A slow burn like a disease. Tell me that I can't show you things that you couldn't believe. Just tell me that I can't. 
Okay, so this is the changes that we did. That's it. 